All right, we're gonna uh, call to order. This is the um, amended agenda for the Design Review Board the meeting Monday, October 19th, 2015. Simsbury Public Library Program Room. Um, everybody is here today, so we don't have to appoint any alternates. So we'll go right into discussion and possible action. Uh, first up is application number 15-23 of Megan McHugh, Greenwood Sign and Graphics applicant, Tom Ryan, Simsbury Town Shops LLC owner, for a sign permit for ideal weight loss of Simsbury on the property located at 930 Hot Meadow Street, Sessors Map H09, Block 227, Lot 003, Zone SC1. So, that be you? Um, whatever works for you up here, probably, or, yep. That one, yep. Yep, you're on. Okay, I'm going to assign at 930 Hot Meadow. That's absolutely on Hot Meadow. Is there any other tenants in the building? He's occupying a very small space on the side of the building. You have Starbucks just to the right. I think you have Angus Energy just around the corner from him. Now the sign, the sign being proposed is um, the same medium as all the signage in the, in the complex there. Um, I'm proposing actually the same sign, but two different locations, as the town hall had some issues about putting the sign on the building. So if you can see, so I'm showing two locations. One is above the window, yep. and one is above the doorway. Is there only, so only one tenant enters this door? Or are there multiple tenants? No, there's one business allotted to that doorway. Okay. And Starbucks is to right on this photo. Uh, Starbucks is actually in we're in on the parking elevation. Okay. Oh, all right. There's another small business. I think it's Angus Energy, just around the corner there. No, actually, um, I'm proposing one sign, and I think the dimensions are, what, eight inches by five, it's a small sign, by five feet, four inches. And the preferred location is centered above the windows. The sign's not lit, right? No. It's a, it's a, um, it's a, conducive with everything that's going on in that complex. That's an old building, is it historic? I think that the concern was the historic nature of the building. Yeah. We had the same problem with the building down on the corner that used to be the old bank or the town, town hall. I'm not familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. We didn't let them put a sign on the building. We didn't want the sign on the building. Right. Okay, that, that, that was the issue initially with, with the town is the historic nature of the building yeah. and putting um, a sign mounted, a wall mount. The second, um, the second location is above the doorway and uh, evidently there had been something there previous as there are hooks to, uh, to imply that there was a sign above the doorway. So is there currently a business in the building now? He's in there. He's got a sandwich board. Um, I believe there was a, uh, I want to say it was nationwide. But there's no indication of a sign 
uh, there are no sign or there are no signs of a uh, uh, of a previous sign on the building, but there it did look as though there were um, signs over the doorway, a sign over the doorway. A freestanding. double-faced uh, signboard adjacent to the sidewalk <coughs> adjacent to the sidewalk going in so you can see it from both directions there's, there's very little room between the building and the, and the sidewalk how, how much room is that, that I don't know. Oh, Yeah, we would like to limit hanging signs on historical buildings. So if you could put something out front. Yeah. I would think. The double face quarter board parallel with perpendicular to the street but parallel to the walk going into the building. Such as what Starbucks has on the smaller. So yeah. I mean, I think from a historic standpoint, to put it on the building itself would be completely objectionable. But even from a practical standpoint, when you're driving by, you're going to see that sign on the house when we really when you're southbound. When you're heading northbound, you don't see it until you pass the front of the building. You have to be turning your head along. So I don't even think it's a great location from a practical standpoint. But really, from a design standpoint, it's just a really long place to put it on. Well, I, mean, I, I think the freestanding, the freestanding sign is the best option. Our If you wanted to do a freestanding sign, it would just have to be on the private property. We don't have a setback, per se, for signage. So that, that's what would come into play. This is similar when we dealt with the landmark building, which the commission is referring to at 760 Hot Meadow Street. The issue there, similar to this, you had a historic building of which the building mountain signs uh, really altered the character of the building. To, to better mark the space. Same problem. It's on the building. It's on the building. Okay, does someone want to make a motion? Make a John? Motion. Yeah, can I make a motion on application number 15 23 of Megan McCube? We would sign and graphics applicant um, to recommend denial of the application placement of any signs on the building. Anyone second? I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, any opposed? All right, so moved. So you'll have to come back with a, another application. Okay, so you're proposing a, uh, a freestanding sign on property? Yep. Nothing on the building. With no restrictions on, on uh, measurements from the walkway? Or the road? Well, know. as long as. M Megan, I, I'd suggest why don't you call me tomorrow and let's set up a time to discuss logistics of locating it within the zoning regulations, a freestanding sign. All right. All right, moving on. Um, 
Application number 15-37 of Stephen Walker, GPF Drake Hill LLC owner for a site plan amendment on the property located at 710 Hot Meadow Street, Assessor's Map G10, Block 227, Lot 001 plus 2, Zone SC1. I'm Steve Walker from Grove Property Fund. We own the Craig Hill Mall and the uh, Cannon Medical Building. And uh, uh, several months back, the board and the zoning board approved some signage for the Cannon Building for Bill Seeley. He's opening up a store called The Studio on the side of the Cannon Building. And what we're proposing, I did give you, that's actually next on the agenda. This is the first thing I wanted to talk about. Is this was these, these was this was actually approved? I think this is in your package yeah, also. So what we'd like to do is put a light in that middle awning there. That's going to light the entrance going in to build space, and then some of that light will spill out onto the the letter that say the studio. Physically, think, physically, where's it located? If the, the fixture itself would be right up, you wouldn't even see it. It would be inside, inside this awning. So when this light would be functioning to, to light the entrance, there's a stoop there, there's stairs, so and some up, of it would spill out into up this. Inside that. Exactly right. And it'd be an LED fixture as well. When you say spill out, you mean bleed through the back of the sign? It would bleed so through the, the, the just through the letters. It would not come, I'm sorry, it, it would not come through the, uh, right. the material itself. It would just talk in the middle, um, the middle sign here. These would not be illuminated. Right. Yeah. So what are we, you're asking us to prove what, the light fixture? The light fixture, yeah. Because when we came in originally, we really weren't in a position. We didn't know what we wanted to do and how we wanted to light that. And um, through doing some research and talking to some lighting companies and talking to Bill Seelig, you know, we felt that this was the most effective way to do it. Because we did not want to really put any type of fixtures up on the, up on the building itself. You know, so we thought if yeah. we hit something underneath there, you would not see it. So what is it? Yeah, so if you're standing, oops, if you're standing out front, you would not see uh, the fixture. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's part one. Is, Is that this a separate actionable thing? Yeah, do we need to approve each one of these pieces? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I don't have any comments on the light fixture unless you guys do. Can some no, someone want to make a motion to approve the light fixture? I'll make a motion to approve the fixture as submitted. Okay, under application 15-37. Um, so second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No? Okay, so your light fixture per exhibit seven is approved under application 15-37. Thank you. Some a little bigger. Okay. <laughs> I need an assistant up here. We've got some. We're good. You got a big one. We're good. I got. I like my you little one. Like little one. Yeah, so what we have currently at the shopping center is this sign that is who knows how old. Yeah. <laughs> no idea, but. No idea, you know, but it, it's very old. So we'd like to modernize our signage a little bit. So this is the other sign, the Caldwell Banker sign, which is a little bit newer, but we would like our signs to match throughout the shopping center. Mm -hmm. And then there's two entrance signs. The property also there's one on Jim Gall uh, Jim Gallagher Boulevard and then one on Drake Hill. That's those. The only so, question I have is: is it, is it the same square footage? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yep. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So these other signs will get taken away? That's exactly right. So these are, these would go in the, the same location as those particular signs. And we're trying to match them. So we actually have some brick left over from our project where we put the addition peach waves on the property. So we're going to match the brick, which matches Fitzgerald's and the whole shopping center. So the base, that would match. Um, 
And there's a couple tenants that wanted to be on a sign that we have no room, and those were Hot Metal Dental, uh, Pete Saka, and Edward Jones, so we'd like to get them on that sign. Um, and then the, the letters above, like where it says Drake Hill, and then the addresses that are on there, those would be a pin-mounted, brushed aluminum uh, letter. Okay. How are you lighting the sign? There would be um, LED fixtures at the base here. So it's, a, it's a going up. It's like yes, yes. So if you look on that, this gray, that is actually a light fixture. It'd be an LED light fixture. That's better than these. <clears throat> oh, you like that sign, don't you? Yeah. The existing it's be one. Sad pretty to see pretty it sharp, go. isn't it? <laughs> 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 no problem. <laughs> Does anybody have any comments on these signs? Are, are there are there shrubberies required around it? Oh, there'll be shrubberies around it. There's, there's shrubbery around there currently, and what I want to do is actually just um, there's too much of shrubbery around there. Whoever put them in originally, there's there's a lot of flowers. We want to minimize the amount of flowers and shrubbery that's around it, um, and. And, and leave yourself room like this time of year we, there's no room to put mums in there so normally on my properties I'd like to see mums around my side mm -hmm. um, maybe tulips and daffodils coming up in the spring and it's just you know when they're originally put in um, it's just a lot it's a mess you know there's grasses and so, so you're mostly yeah. planting like perennials and annuals yes yeah. stuff that in the winter time gets cut down to the ground yeah most of it would be would there be some evergreens in there just to have some green a lot of times you put your evergreens on on either side of the sign you know and some lower things in between it but there would be something there that would remain green throughout the winter what what happened to 716 we got 710 to 714 here in the current sign is that another tenant on another sign someplace hmm. that yeah. could be the second floor it's address good catch yeah so 700 is peach waves and 716 must be the second floor because 714 is CVS so maybe they technically call the second floor 716 716 is that on the, yeah. that on the left hand side of the building now yes yes, yes. yeah floor, you're yeah. you had a good view of it <laughs> yep <laughs> You're oh, correct. So There's you a big seven. Yeah, you're oh, yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Seven mm -hmm. fourteen is on the corner of the building. Yeah. So, I don't know what so sixteen's upstairs. You think? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And I think the fire. You know, this is those numbers are really for the fire department. Yeah. So they, when they call people out and they say seven, ten, they know where they're going. You know. These uh, these fixtures shine down as well as up. Uh, the fixtures just shine up. And what they do, they'll do a calculation so the lumens come to the top of the top of the sign. So this sign, being that it's a little taller, would have a little bit more lumens to make sure the lumens get to the top where CVS is. This one would have less lumens just because it just has to get here. And the entrance sign would, would not be lighted because they're, they're kind of by the road and cars are coming. Well, my the my question is because of the numbers. Uh, I know rub oh. rings are hard sometimes to present. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at looking at the at the metal on the brick. Yes. Um, it might be it might be lost at night. Mm hmm Or behind your mums. You might be right. <laughs> you love mums, though, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could put the numbers at the top. Or I actually I don't know what you yeah, do on this or one. The light. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, just swap them on bottom yeah, and flip. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Flip, flip the light. Or just the swap numbers. the light and the numbers. So the numbers are lit. Right mm -hmm. now. If you're low yeah, light, we, the numbers if you're low in be. design, uh, now lights all the way up. Right. Uh, then there's an adjustment perhaps if they're underneath uh, by both the number can go up a little. Sure. Mm hmm. And the light down below. Yep. <laughs> Some Halloween music for you. Well, I think it's okay. a tremendous improvement to what's there. Yeah. And, uh, tastefully done. Just as a, excuse me, but just sure. as a sure, side, John. somewhere along the way, perhaps in a presentation you made in the past, um, relative to LED lighting. Mm hmm. Um, this board was going to look into um, LED lighting in general 
Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think we did anything. Right. I'm a huge fan of LED lighting, actually. Oh, it's, I think um, we all are now. It's really uh, saved me a lot of money on my electrical bills, and they've gotten that blue tone out of them. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, clean. Something yeah. feels like daylight. You go into a store that has it on it. It really feels like you're outside. It is. You know? It's a nice light. Yeah. So all my properties. If I change a bulb these days, I put an LED bulb in there. Well, as I say, as of the moment, there and for some time, there's been, you know, big switch over to LED, mm -hmm. including your property, and yet we have no guidelines. Oh yeah. I put this in the record rather than. Yeah. You know, it's not a. Not a negative comment as far as your Sure. Concerned. Yep. If you're going to put them in your house, if you go to up to Massachusetts, you will get a 50% discount on LED lights at Home Depot. Because the Massachusetts has some programs in place. How, how, how about the brick? You said you had it from another project. Is that going to match the brick that's on CVS? Uh, it, it, yeah, so, yeah. So when we um, put Peachways, that was an addition that was put on next to um, next to the grocery store. Yep. Okay, so we have that brick left over. So that was okay. that that brick matches the grocery that's, store that's and well, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I don't. Anybody else have any other comments? Otherwise, that's someone make a motion to approve um, all three signs uh, under application 15-37. So move. Second. Second. All right, John will second it. And then um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. There you go. Great, thank you. Thank you. And uh, should I take these for the next board? These are on your. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. may. You can take them if you need them. Don't, don't have to go through zoning or anything. Pardon me? Not on tonight. Oh, okay. He's we can on. talk. Yeah. Huh? He's not on tonight. No, we didn't. Well, I'll okay. Okay. I'll see. Okay. Hey, Mike, can you just add in the notes that um, uh, that he's going to look at the the comment about putting the light or switching the letters to make sure the letters are um, Do you want lit just or maybe amend the the uh, motion so that it's included in the motion so we can have that in the approval. Yeah. Approval letter. Yeah. Someone need to do that, or do I do that? Someone's gonna who who made the motion on that? Uh, Tony. Tony made the motion. So Tony, can you amend your motion to include the comment motion. about the lighting? <laughs> <laughs> there you, you go. Just to keep it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. All right. Um, moving on. Application number fifteen thirty nine of LADA PC Land Planners Consultant for EAY Properties LLC owner for a site plan amendment for an addition to the existing building on the property located at 532 Hot Meadow Street, Assessor's Map G12, Block 132, Lot 027, Zone B2. Hi, um, my name is George Crispinson. I'm property manager at Simsmore Square. What we have is Sam Chen uh, runs Meadow Asian Cuisine in the, in the complex. He's been there about 10 years. Um, lease is coming up. He needs a little bit more space to expand his kitchen, make it a little more workable. Um, we look long and hard at how to do that and keep him open at the same time and to come up with the only real feasible way is to put a, a very small addition on the front of the building. Um, we try to match the design of the, the gable end on the bike shop, uh, same materials that should just sort of blend in and disappear. Um, the objective is to enlarge his workspace in the kitchen at this point uh, by removing the, the walk-in freezer and the walk-in refrigerator into this new addition, but it also allows them to be open during that process. Um, putting it around back doesn't work at all because it's, it's Walk out basement back there, basically be on stilts. It's a parking area. Uh, just logistically, no other way to do it. It's a very small addition. It's about 11 by 16, uh, one story. Blended in as best we can with the front siding, everything to, to match. And if I recall, the uh, coverage is already broken up by this, by the building. 
Yes. So this is just extending from a current bump out. Yes. Yes, it's part of the. Yeah, this is already a bump out. Well, okay. it's a canopy. It there's there, like there is a uh, a porch roof right here. here. Uh, that's actually out here. Oh, it's here. Uh, I, I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah. Here. Okay. So this extends beyond the porch. Yes, it does. And the use is? The use is it's going to be for his walk-in freezer and refrigerator. Okay, not a cooking area. Right? No. But why the exterior door? Uh, because that's where all the deliveries are going to be. That's where there's a where the door there now, the existing door. It's just going to move from the front to the side. The sidewalk is there, all that's there. And it's two stories in the back. So you, you the the back of the rear of the building is down. Is is down one full story. So there's really no way to do it on the rear. Plus the ansel system is there. The hood system is there. There's a ton of plumbing, uh, gas stove, uh, grease trap. The logistics would just be, you know, shut the place down for a month and to totally redo the kitchen. And, and the siding and windows and everything are to match the current building. Correct. Are there any uh, are there any penetrations of the roof for ventilation? Um, well, I'm, the reason I ask the question is, um, it's it's if there are, they're not presented. No, there's no plan for any. No. There, okay. there would be a ridge back. So there's no no cooking. No, uh, it's purely for the refrigerator and the freezer. Exterior lighting of any kind. That's all. Just interior. Okay. The siding and the roof matches the rest of the building. The roof on there is about five years old at this point. It's weathered wood. We would just continue the same. Um, the siding is aluminum siding on there, white four inch aluminum siding, wood grain. We would probably use a vinyl, but unless you get right up to it, nobody's going to see it. Nobody's. No, wait, say that again. The existing building has aluminum four inch wood grain vinyl, uh, aluminum siding on there. Okay. I would prefer to use a vinyl on the addition. But it would be the same size, same color, same texture. Any texture? Yes. Could you get the aluminum? Is it available? Probably. It's just more expensive, more difficult to work with. Um, at this point, too, the siding on the rest of the building is 30, 30 some odd years old. Uh, does have some damaged spots in it. At some point, we may end up replacing it. Place it with vinyl at this point. Well, I, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it seems to blend in with the rest of the building. If we were looking at this building and that addition was there to begin with, if we were building that building there. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. it provided everything matches yeah. the existing building. It doesn't reduce the parking area at all, does it? Yeah. It, comes it, does out not, it comes out to the curb, but not into the parking area. Well, my initial reaction was not favorable when I saw this application because it's, it's like you're sticking something on the front of the building, and right now it's got a fairly nice uh, even facade. But I think we've done a reasonable job of explaining the lack of options and not sure what would be a reasonable alternative. I'm totally right. open to it. We so looked and looked and looked at it. We just didn't come up with anything that made any sense. That I think the only thing that troubles me is I understand that in the future you're going to want to recite it 
but the idea that you would do it with vinyl when it's an aluminum building, I think that's, I have, a, I have an issue with that. I think you're going to see the difference. I don't think it's going to be that unsung, as you suggest. I mean, that's a, a design concern for me. Otherwise, I think the scale and the, the detail, are, you know, I can see you're mirroring the other gable, so. And my, and my assessment on the aluminum, the aluminum's going to look totally different because it's 30 years newer, so it's not going to match it all anyway. Um, any, any better than the, than the vinyl. That's Who, who's the store on the left? Uh, the bicycle seller. They've been oh, there for about yeah, 35 yeah. years. I'm, I'm fine with it, too. I don't, unless anybody else has any other comments. And there's no outside lighting on this or anything else. It's, it's just Don't an unfortunate inside situation. From the freezer and the refrigerator. I think they did it's a good nice job of what they have. Well, I mean, you could add more detail across here, but I don't, yeah. at least it's it mimicking all. this. You don't have it on the big side, you know, right? More attention. I know. That's what I mean. There's not much. The windows matching this window, you know. On that that window on the the, the, the gable. Is that going to be a conceivable roof inside, or how are you going to get it that way? Uh, that's just going to be just decorative. Yeah. Both of those, are, both of those. Are just going to be right. Yeah. You put little dormers in there. John, any questions? No, I don't think you want to draw any more attention no. to it. Just keep it simple and let Call it go it. away. Right. Yeah. Um, no, I don't have any other questions. Anybody else have any other comments? No. All right. Someone want to make a motion to? I'll make a motion. We accept application 15-39 of a lot of PC land planners consultant, EOA properties, LLC owner for site plan amendment for an addition to the existing building on property located at 532 Hop Meadow Street. Assessor's map G12, block 132, lot 027, zone B2. All right, great. I'll second that. Thanks, Tony. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, so moved. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, so we have two, wow, well, we got two things left. We got a, we have the, um, 2016 the proposed schedule for the 2016 do we need to do anything with that Michael is that just for reference uh, we have to approve it we need to approve yeah, it vote on it if there's anyone has any issues with any of the dates try to avoid any major holidays best we can Anybody have any issues? Someone make a motion to approve the 2016 meeting dates. So moved. I'll second. All right, great. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, 26 proposed regular meeting dates for year 2016 approved. And last but not least, approval of minutes from October 5th. Did anybody have any comments? I move we accept the minutes. Thank you. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Minutes are approved. Um, and then that's it. Do you have anything else, right? We'll make a motion to adjourn. So I'll make okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting Good. adjourned. Thank you. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.